Hey guys, so you remember our top bar highs? Some bad news. This isn't the video I wanted to be uploading, but here it is. A week ago I was doing an inspection on my top bar high for one of my videos, and I noticed some perforations in the cells. I sort of knew straight away what this was. It's one of the main indicators of American fowl brood, which is a mould type infection that gets into the brood on hives. There's another test you can do, which is called the matchstick test, where you stir an affected cell and then slowly remove the stick. And if the brood comes out stringy, it's a good indicator. American fowl brood is a reportable disease here in Australia. So I spoke to Agriculture Victoria who told me that I needed to euthanise both hives. The method is to pour petrol on a cloth and to insert that cloth into the beehive once they're closed up. So I did that. I also had to do it to the large top bar hive, which wasn't a fun job. I left the hives for a couple of days and then went back and checked. And as you can see, every bee was dead. The hives were empty on the frames apart from the pile of bees in the bottom. The Department of Agriculture here in Australia are also quite adamant that not only are the bees destroyed, but hive components are burned. You can also apply to have them gamma treated with radiation, but top bar hives fall into a difficult category that they don't really want to irradiate. So I went about frame by frame burning each of the nucleus hive frames. It's quite difficult to do as it goes against everything that beekeepers strive for. But anyway, it was going to be a wonderful year in the bee yard for top bar hives. I was seriously considering taking the top bar hives down to a family member's bush block of land and expanding on them. Right now, I'm not sure what I'll do. I'll still beekeep. I'm just not sure if I'll build any more hives. It's a lot of work just to throw on the fire. I also had to go about burning the larger top bar hive frames. So one by one, all 20 something of them, I put them on the fire. I think there was five or six honey frames that I burned first. You can harvest and eat the honey after it's been diagnosed with American fowl brood, but I simply think that it's better off eradicating the problem rather than having it floating around in jars. It's not until you put all the bees of a hive in the one spot that you realise how many bees there actually are. There was a huge population in this hive and they had started the year off on the right foot. Once all the brood frames were burned as well, it was time to burn the box and the dead bees. I'll pop a link down below with some information from the Department of Agriculture regarding fowl brood. So if you suspect you have it, have a look. Thanks for watching, guys.